This is Autograk, beta version 4.0. It's great that so many of you are using our live demo, but you're using up all my Grok developer credits. So now, you'll be required to enter your own developer key. Don't worry, it's session specific, and you can always delete it when you're done. If you're new to Autograk, welcome. Autograk generates a team of agents on the fly, just from your initial prompt. It even has a built-in prompt engineer to make sure your request is as effective as possible. We use the Grok inference engine from grok.com, and it's really fast. You're seeing it react in real time. Experienced Autogrok users will notice that my team of agents was not created. This is because I'm hitting my daily usage threshold for the Mixtral LLM. Now you know why I added the API key input. No problem. We can just switch to the Llama model and continue. By just telling Autogrok, Hey, let's make a CRM. We're going to get an automatically generated team of agents specifically tailored to work on our task. Wow, nine agents. Nice. The first agent is always our project manager. You'll see that this agent is predisposed to laying out the project plan and directing the team. In future versions of Autogrok, we plan to have him act as the chat coordinator for both Autogen and Crew AI. Keep in mind, the Autogrok interface you see here is designed to one, rapidly create teams of agents and workflows, and two, allow you to test them locally before exporting them to Autogen and Crew AI. We'll show you new users what the whiteboard and discussion history can do by asking our database administrator to write us some SQL code. And there it is, valid SQL to create our development schema and get us started. At any time, we can pull up the discussion history and see our entire process, wonderfully formatted for easy legibility and reference. It even puts our code into color-coded blocks for us. If you have some existing test data in a CSV file, Autogrok will incorporate it into the agent's discussion. It's not technically RAG support since the data is never vectorized, but we'll get there. Oh, and any URLs you add to the additional input field can be read and referenced by all the agents. We've covered Autogen and Crew AI file generation in past videos. In a nutshell, Autogrok makes these exportable and importable agent and workflow files that you can use to hit the ground running when creating new Autogen or Crew AI projects. Go ahead and download the source from our GitHub site or try the demo online. The links are below, right below the like and subscribe buttons. Hint, hint. If you run Autogrok locally, you can set your key as an environment variable and not have to mess with entering your Grok keys manually. More exciting updates are on the way. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.